Hello, welcome to South Today. I'm Sally Taylor. In tonight's programme, schools close until further notice, except for children of key workers. We hear from a head teacher. We're the school nearest to the county hospital here in Dorset. We have a large number of uh, NHS employees, um, and we're really here for them at this time. Science and tech camps for youngsters are cancelled. A Berkshire company loses its entire annual income as a result. In two weeks' time through the next five months is, is our entire season, our entire opportunity to generate revenue. Nazanin enjoys her temporary freedom from jail in Iran, giving hope to her family here. So to have, a, you know, some good news and a nice, uh, you know, happy discovery, it's, it, yeah, it's a very good day. We just have fun, just enjoy it. And at a loose end, with no football matches to prepare for, manager Eddie Howe works out for a Dorset charity. The number of people infected with coronavirus across the South continues to rise. And today we heard that a 59-year-old woman at the Queen Alexandra Hospital in Portsmouth who tested positive for COVID-19 has died. She had underlying health conditions. Every day, more measures are put in place in the fight to control the spread. And in the last few hours, the news that all schools will close by Friday afternoon. Steve Humphrey is outside a school in Kingsworthy near Winchester. Steve. Sally, the big announcement on school closures was much anticipated by parents and teachers here in Kingsworthy and by others across the region. The headline is that for most pupils, schools will close on Friday afternoon for the foreseeable future. But there will be continuing provision for the children of key workers, those in the NHS, police and delivery drivers. Schools will also look after the most vulnerable youngsters and there will be meals or vouchers for those who get free school dinners. We spoke to parents here in Kingsworthy earlier this afternoon. Probably they should close the school because uh, it's a measure at least, they're doing something. The children are all gathered in one place, they love spreading germs and we're still in effect having to stand with parents when we're being advised against it, so I think we should close. It's going to cause a lot of problems for people trying to arrange health care well, sort of support for our children whilst we attend work. Well, the other thing that uh, Boris Johnson said this afternoon is that youngsters shouldn't be left with potentially vulnerable older relatives. He also said there won't be any exams in May or June. Now, we spoke to the head teacher of a school in Dorchester this afternoon. He told us it's inevitable that aspects of children's learning will be affected, but he said that simply isn't an issue at the moment. The most important thing is the health and well-being of each and every single member of our community. Um, that's my focus right now. Um, attainment and progress can, you know, uh, wait at the moment. Um, what's more important is that each and every single one of my children and their parents are safe and well, and we're going to do everything we can to support that. What a lot of schools had anticipated today's announcement, providing pupils with books, project ideas, and also making sure that they can access online learning resources. From Kingsworthy, back to you, Sally. Steve, thanks very much. As businesses continue to feel the effects of the coronavirus, some companies have told us they are 